Uh, living in Mapun is a lot more peaceful than anywhere else I've lived. It's lovely, you know, wake up in the morning and it's, you know, there's nothing but birds, you know, and just nice and quiet. When we first moved there, it's just like, it's like we came home. Even though my mum is not a traditional owner, my grandmother was from Stolen Generation, but we still feel a connection to Mapun. It's something you can't explain, it's just weird, it's home. To me, painting was painting real life, so I tried to do that. Uh, Daphne, my sister, has inspired me to paint the world. She's been a big inspiration to how I paint now, because my idea of painting was very, like, you know, their real life, and she was already doing abstract painting, and a lot of what I wanted to say came across better with abstract painting, and just using, s like, a s more symbolic of what I was feeling. My ideas from painting come from what exactly is happening in my life at the moment. Uh, that's how probably a bit of therapy for me, whatever's happening in my life or whatever's concerning me or any issues that are uh, happening, that's what I paint about. I've always had an interest in art from high school. I didn't, never thought that it would get to where I am now, like selling things and you know producing stuff that I have been producing. Well, for me, I love painting and I like uh, telling my stories through through painting. Although I do use the, try and um, use the colours that I see in the bush, but you know you don't have, it doesn't have to look exactly like what you're trying to put across. Well, when I first started painting, I didn't expect that my emotions would get involved with it, and it took me a while to actually realise that my emotions were coming out in the painting, and I was, and then it actually took me a little bit longer to realise that I was actually dealing with a lot of stuff through my painting. I didn't know about a lot of these things when I was younger. It wasn't until I was older and we'd moved back to Marpoon that I started questioning my mother about her life growing up in Marpoon and what they did and what it was like to live in, in the community at that time and their hardships and yeah, a lot of that has inspired a lot of my paintings. For me, I think um, going to the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair, it's a big step forward and it's an opportunity to meet other artists and uh, galleries, representatives from galleries that you know, may not have seen artwork from this far north, north before.